This section of the Rockworks training reference provides an overview of the Rockworks product, including the layout of the main menu and brief introductions to the project folder, the project settings, the Rockware utilities, the borehole manager, the Rockplot 2D program, the Rockplot 3D program, the Reportworks program, and a description of the resources that are available if you need help. The main Rockworks menu consists of three primary regions. The project area is used to define where your data will be stored, the dimensions of your project area, the coordinate system that you'll be using, and the measurement units such as feet or meters. The main applications area has three tabs along the top. The Home tab provides access to the product licensing, the 2D plotting engine called Rockplot 2D, the 3D plotting engine called Rockplot 3D, the page layout program called ReportWorks, and a variety of help options. The Utilities tab provides access to a row and column style data manager and a variety of programs that process this data to produce reports and diagrams. The Borehole Manager tab includes a relational database manager for storing borehole and measured section data and a suite of programs for analyzing, modeling, and displaying this information. The upper right region provides access to a suite of preference options, program windows, a scripting option, and help information. An optional fourth region is available by clicking on the small plus button within the upper left corner of the main application area. This provides access to the Project Manager, a handy tool for quickly accessing and displaying project tables, data sheets, diagrams, and other information. A project folder is a folder or directory on your computer or network in which your work files will be read from and stored to. This includes data files that you create as well as intermediate and graphic output files. The name of the current project folder is displayed at the top of the main Rockworks menu. The data for the Borehole Manager is stored in an SQL database that has the same name as the project folder. Grid models, solid models, fence panels, graphic files, and much more will also be stored within the project folder. The Utilities programs will read and store data files, or RWDAT files, in the current project folder. If you click on the Folder button, a list of folder-related options will appear within a pull-down menu. These options allow you to create a new folder and initialize a new SQL database within that folder along with other project settings, select and load a different existing project, select and load a different project from a list of all existing projects, move a project including the SQL database, system files, and user files to another location on the same hard drive, rename a project folder and the SQL database within it, show a list of all other users currently accessing the current project folder, Note, this option only appears within the multi-user network version. And finally, change the database engine from its default, which is SQLite, to another type of server such as MS Access or Microsoft SQL Server. The project settings are summarized at the top of the main Rockworks menu, just below the project folder. To access the project settings, click anywhere on the settings line. The settings region will automatically expand to accommodate the settings sub-options. To minimize the settings, just click on the top line again. The main settings categories appear within the tabs along the left side. The grid and solid dimensions page is where we define the extents of our project area. It is also used to define the dimensions of the cells and voxels that will be used during any modeling procedures. The row of options at the base of the dimensions pane includes utilities that will scan the utilities datasheet or the borehole database to automatically determine suitable project extents. These options also include utilities to import and export the project dimensions to facilitate sub-projects. There are also useful programs for showing the project extents within Google Earth. The coordinates page is where we define the number of decimal places to use when showing our coordinates and depths. This region also includes utilities for reassigning or reprojecting existing data if we decide to change to a different coordinate system for our output. The Units page is where we define the output units for area, mass, and volumetrics when generating reports. The Notes page features a rich text editor for storing miscellaneous notes about our project. Don't forget to click anywhere on the main settings line to minimize the settings window. The Rockware utilities are accessed by clicking the Utilities tab within the main Rockworks menu. The utilities consist of a datasheet for managing data in a row and column fashion, and a suite of programs that process the data within the datasheet. The data sheets are stored within ASCII XML files in the project folder. The menu items at the top of the data sheet are used to manage the data within the data sheet. Let's run through some quick examples of how the utilities programs read and process the data within this sample data sheet. By the way, this data sheet contains ion data for multiple water wells in which each row contains the data for a single well. We'll start by using the map grid based map based on XYZ data program to create a contour map of the calcium data. 
Next, we'll use the Map Pie Chart Map program to show multiple ions in a pie chart map format. Now, we'll use the Hydrochem Piper Diagram program to make a Piper Diagram depicting all the samples. Next, the Hydrochem Stiff Map program is used to plot stiff diagrams for all the wells at their map locations. And finally, we'll use the Statistics Histogram Single program to look at the distribution of chlorine values. Many of the programs within the Rockware Utilities work in a similar fashion, just reading data from the datasheet and creating specialized diagrams. The Borehole Manager is accessed by clicking on the Borehole Manager tab located at the top of the main Rockworks menu, just below the Project pane. The Borehole Manager consists of two main panels, a database manager for storing borehole or measured section information, and a suite of tools for processing the data within the database manager. The borehole IDs are listed along the left side of the screen. The different types of borehole data are listed within a column to the right of the borehole ID column. The data for the currently selected borehole and data type are listed within the remainder of the dialog. In this screenshot, the location data for borehole DH01 is shown within the blue area. For example, here's the lithology data for DH08, and here's the stratigraphy data for DH03, and here's the fracture data for DH12, and here's the location data for DH04. The Quick Map tab shows the relative borehole locations with a red rectangle that indicates the location of the currently selected item within the borehole list. Please note that this is not intended to serve as publication quality output, but rather as a handy tool for quickly locating boreholes. The menu bar at the top of the database manager provides an extensive collection of tools for importing, exporting, filtering, and editing your data. The applications at the top of the borehole manager are used to create models, diagrams, and perform various analyses on the data within the database. Let's run through a quick example where the stratigraphy model program is used to create a three-dimensional stratigraphy diagram. Now, let's go back to the database, select a borehole, change the elevation from 1765 to 2000, and regenerate the diagram. As Fred Bernard said in 1927, a picture is worth 10,000 words. Or as Charles Babbage should have said in 1837, garbage in, garbage out. The Rockplot 2D program is activated by clicking on the window option in the upper right corner of the main Rockworks menu and selecting the Rockplot 2D option. If this dialog looks familiar, that's because it's embedded as the display tab within every Rockworks program that creates two-dimensional diagrams. Rockplot 2D is used to display two-dimensional diagrams such as maps, strip logs, cross-sections, and charts, export these diagrams to other formats, print the diagrams, import other diagrams as overlays, and to edit the diagrams. In this short example, we'll load a Rockplot 2D file called RoseMap. The export options include lots of image formats, shape files, DXF files, and Google Earth overlays. The print options will print the diagrams at the resolution of the output device, meaning no ugly, pixelated screen dumps. Import DXF files, shape files, and raster images. Pen other Rockplot 2D files and manipulate their contents to place items into the background. Move objects to other locations. and edit the properties of objects. There's a lot more to Rockplot 2D, but we'll cover that later on in a video titled Rockplot 2D in Detail. To activate Rockplot 3D, click on the window item in the upper right corner of the main menu and select the Rockplot 3D option. Every Rockworks program that generates 3D diagrams uses Rockplot 3D as an embedded tab in order to display and manipulate the 3D output. Rockplot 3D is used for displaying three-dimensional diagrams, combining multiple 3D diagrams, printing 3D diagrams, exporting 3D diagrams to other formats and programs, importing other 3D format files into Rockworks, editing three-dimensional diagrams, and creating 3D animations or videos. In this example, we'll load an RW3D file, that's the Rockplot 3D file format, into the program, edit the 3D diagram, append another 3D diagram into this diagram, Print the diagram, export the diagram as a bitmap, DXF, shape, or KMZ file, and finally, creating an animation or a video. To access the ReportWorks program, click on the window item within the upper right corner of the main Rockworks screen and select the ReportWorks option from the pull-down menu. 
ReportWorks is a page layout tool that allows you to import, position, and annotate Rockplot 2D diagrams and raster images. Perhaps most importantly, ReportWorks allows you to use standardized report templates to streamline your workflow. The basic idea is that you start by setting up your page size, be it a report page or a poster session behemoth. From there, you can drop, position, and resize Rockplot 2D graphic files, raster images, text annotation, scale bars, logos, and so on. A popular application involves creating templates for common layouts. Creating a report page then becomes a matter of loading the desired template and filling in the designated items. There are many ways to get the most out of Rockworks. Just about every menu consists of two parts. The menu options and the user manual page that pertains to the menu topic. This panel provides detailed information about the menu options. This documentation also includes abundant hyperlinks to related topics. In addition to the embedded documentation, there are help buttons within many of the menus that provide access to the indexed and searchable help resource. This online documentation contains extensive information, not just about everything within Rockworks, but the concepts behind the modeling algorithms. A large collection of step-by-step -step tutorials are also available by clicking on the red question mark within the upper right corner of the main Rockworks menu. The intent of these tutorials is to view them on the second monitor while you use the included sample data to follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions. Search for Rockware Software on YouTube. Once you've located the Rockware channel, click on the Playlist option. Click on the Hands-on Training Exercises playlist. Now you can follow along with the exercises that we use in our Rockware training classes. The Rockware YouTube channel also includes hundreds of other videos about using Rockworks. The Rockware Support Forum is a great place to view questions from other users and answers from the Rockware support staff. Free email support is available by sending an email to tech at rockware.com, but please note, free email technical support is limited to users of valid licenses. A one-year maintenance plan is included with the purchase of a Rockworks license. This plan includes 30 minutes of technical phone support, plus updates and new version upgrades. Maintenance renewal fees are priced at 15% of a new license. Training is available at our offices in Golden, Colorado or Lugano, Switzerland. Please contact Rockware about customized training at your office.